This is Hadith number 45. And chapter number 34. Chapter number 34. The heading is Babu Ziyadat in Imani wa Nuksanihi. Chapter that faith increases and decreases. Hadith says, and that is again narrated by Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. You say, this is again a rebuttal of that particular viewpoint that Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu was against transmission of ahadith. You see many important and significant ahadith of Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been reported and transmitted by Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And this is one of those. One of the many. He narrates, once a Jew said to him, O chief of believers, ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, there is a verse in your holy book which is read by all of you, by all of the Muslims. And then that Jew says, had it been revealed to us, to us means had it been revealed on the Jews, we would have taken that day, the day when that verse had been revealed, we would, we would have taken that day as an Eid, the festival day. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he asked, which is that verse? The Jew replied, this day, now he narrates, al yom akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati. He quoted this verse. Had this particular verse revealed on us, on the Jews, we would have celebrated that day as Eid, Yomul Eid. This day I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favor upon you and have chosen for you Islam as your religion, as your deen, as your way of life. Sayyidina Umar replied, no doubt. We know when and where this verse was revealed to the Prophet. Now, I would like to draw your attention to a very specific point. That is, just try to keep in your mind the nature of question. The question which was asked by the Jew. And the person who was asking this question at that time was in fact Hazrat Ka'bul Ahbar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He had not embraced Islam at that time and he was one of the great Jewish scholars. And then he embraced Islam and he became, so he became Tabi. He couldn't become Sahabi. Ka'bul Ahbar, Himyari. And he was known to be the greatest authorities of Tafsir. Greatest authorities of Tafsir. Aimmat tafsir And many junior Sahaba used to ask questions from him. Because he was a treasure of knowledge of Torah and Bani, the knowledge of the books of Bani Israel. And Sahaba and Tabi'een, companions, their then companions used to go towards him to ask many things. So this person who was asking the question was Ka'bul Ahbar. Now, the basic point which I would like to you to concentrate on is that question is that O oh, Umar, Radiallahu ta'ala anu. This is the verse. al yom akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum neemati. If it had been revealed on us, on Jews, 
द डे विच दिस वर्स वॉज रिवील्ड इन वी वुड हैव सेलिब्रेटेड दैट डे एज फेस्टिवल डे एज योम ईद बट यू डोंट डू इट यू डोंट सेलिब्रेट दैट डे पर्टिकुलरली दैट डे एज ए ईद दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नाउ लुक एट द आंसर and try to understand the link between question and answer this link comprehension and understanding of the link al irtibat bain as sawal wal jawab this would in fact give you a particular understanding on a very significant subject of aqida Sayyidina Umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu replied no doubt we know when and where this verse was revealed to the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then he says it was friday and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was standing at standing at arafat the day of hajj and muhaddisin have written this was the evening time afternoon arafat the day of hajj so the question was that you don't celebrate the day when this verse was revealed on you and the answer is the answer given by sayyidina umar radhiyallahu ta'ala no answer is that we know when and where this verse was revealed on holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that was friday and the day of arafat what do you think apparently do you comprehend any direct link between the question and answer or they are just distant from each other so now i would like to fill the missing link there is no missing link in fact there is no i will go to other ahadith also to elaborate the same concept So Sayyidina Umar radiyallahu ta'ala no he replies yes we do celebrate that day as the festival and Yawm al-Eid this is actually his answer because it is absolutely impossible that Sayyidina Umar a man of Umar's caliber would reply a question which is totally non relevant with the question it is impossible and if now i am giving you the reason if sayyidina umar radiyallahu ta'ala no through this answer had not properly and positively and expressly and directly and categorically if he had not replied his question he would have repeated his question in another way he would have said i have not received the answer of my question what is he would have said that i have not received my answer my question is about the celebration of that day as festival when that particular verse was revealed and you are telling me that we know when was it revealed and where it was revealed the jew yani kabul ahbar is scholar and he is not a common man he is a scholar great scholar authority and he is satisfied with the answer he does not counter this reply he is satisfied he, he became silent it means he got the answer on that particular point of celebrating the day as yawm ul eid he received the answer imam ibn hajar asqalani says at this point ke sidna umar gave the answer bil ishara Imam Asqalani says at this point that the answer was given to him but this answer was in the form of an ishara he wanted to convey the message to him yes no doubt this is a verse when it was revealed that day deserves to be celebrated as the day of festival as the day of eid